Alex! Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you and me both. What now? This oh no, what's that? Well, now what? I'm pretty sure this was... All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the <laughs> secondary <laughs> silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was. That was on the AR-2. How did you see folk kill hunters? You sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground out there. Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the Super Portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one Strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. Last thing on my mind was submitting it for the Kleiner Certificate of Approval. You're talking to me, honey, with the result of staffing and supply deficiencies. And your crazy old conjugal parasite away from my nose cone! Now, now listen here, Magnuson. There's no call for... Eli, why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. They just died. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Uh, 
false alarms all day. Damn roads on the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little crow problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy, and I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience.